Hi everyone, Alex Tardy from the National Weather Service here, here to talk about tropical moisture and most importantly about excessive temperatures returning to Southern California in mid-August. Here is our latest weather briefing. Some of the highlights. We are going to get tropical moisture remnants, we call it, from tropical cyclone Eugene. It's going to be drawn northward into a weak Pacific system and move slowly across the East Pacific and California coast. Mainly isolated showers and thunderstorms is what we expect for Southern California. Then a extended heat wave again is going to build mid August. We could be looking at near record high temperatures with readings during each day and night much above normal. This will present a high heat risk as this heat wave unfolds next week. We do expect a decrease in this heat wave as we get towards the end of the month, but it's going to take a while. Let's look first at sea surface temperatures across the Pacific. Your eyes are drawn to the equator likely. That's where El Nino is currently forming. It's in a weak phase. Um, that's because we average it over a couple months. The current phase is in the moderate level, but we don't label it until after the fact because it's a long-term average to reduce fluctuations. Now, your eyes will also be drawn to the Eastern and Northern Pacific and the Western Pacific. Large areas of water, warm, but more importantly, anomalies, much warmer than average. So uh, it's not just along the equator where we see this massive warming going on large parts of the Pacific. Okay, the month of July over land was really hot. Uh, the red shaded in the upper right shows record, warmest July on record, it includes Palm Springs, Las Vegas, and Phoenix. Now for California as a whole, it was not a record, but it ranks up there near the top as shown on the left-hand side. We attribute this to the heat dome, upper level ridge of high pressure, or between two cold storm systems. This upper level ridge or heat dome was nearly permanent for most of July, resulting in this record hot temperatures. This heat dome is what controls our heat waves. The lack of monsoon or slow onset to tropical moisture also is a factor in hot temperatures. Okay, so let's talk about moisture now. Uh, tropical cyclone Eugene, it has fallen apart, so it has decayed, but there's still a circulation and there's still a lot of tropical moisture, which will show off the west coast. On a weather satellite, this is all you would see today, is a weak little circulation in the mid part of the atmosphere spinning around. That will draw clouds, not just marine clouds, but higher clouds, mid and upper level clouds, towards Southern California uh, all the way through Wednesday. If we look at the water vapor content, that really shows the story, the tropical moisture. It's going to be pulled up from the south. You can see the remnant area, small compared to the tropics in general, but that moisture combined with a little bit of that tropical monsoonal flow will be pulled into California. Now, we're not expecting a lot of rain from this storm. In fact, it looks like um, South Central and the central part of California will bear the brunt, including Nevada. So most of the heavier showers and isolated thunderstorms will stay to our north, but we still have the threat for some light showers and then some embedded thunderstorms. And this threat continues into Thursday, even when the moisture lifts northward and drier air comes in its place from the south. The chances of rain um, are widespread, but light, uh, with the best chances being to our north, so Orange County, LA area, and San Bernardino Riverside Mountains. The temperature outlook. This is what we're really focusing on, is a broad, extensive heat wave developing next week, so the middle of August. It's going to extend from the Pacific Northwest all across the Southwest, and of course, continue across Texas. So this is what the current weather pattern looks like that'll draw the remnants from Eugene northward. Weak storm system, the L in the East Pacific, and then the 
upper level ridge or heat dome across Texas and Mexico. And then you see in between is the remnant of Eugene. So over the next several days into this weekend, Eugene will completely disappear, but the moisture will be entrained or wrapped around this L or low pressure. And showers and thunderstorms will be most common north and east of this L or low pressure area for late this week, this weekend. Now, when we get into next week, uh, the upper level ridges, two of them, the desert southwest expanding from Texas, but note also the Pacific Northwest. This is kind of the double combination or dual high pressure upper ridge that really can result in extreme temperatures over a large area of the west. This looks like it'll hold in place for a good part of mid August and slowly weaken in later August. On its peak, I picked August 16th. Looks like that's when it'll be in full control, dominant, massive dome of hot air, not just in the southwest, but extending all the way up to the Pacific Northwest and over the Pacific Ocean, as shown here. Some of the highlights. We are going to get tropical moisture, remnants, we call it, from tropical cyclone Eugene. It's going to be drawn northward into a weak Pacific system and move slowly across the East Pacific and California coast. Mainly isolated showers and thunderstorms is what we expect for Southern California. Then a extended heat wave, again, is going to build mid-August. We could be looking at near record high temperatures with readings during each day and night much above normal. This will present a high heat risk as this heat wave unfolds next week. We do expect a decrease in this heat wave as we get towards the end of the month, but it's going to take a while. 